I just thought about Dame uh, Judy Dench. No. Ah, uh, who? Dame. Just passed away today. Who? Dame what? From Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. Tell Cersei I want to know it was me. What? Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's a court. Wasn't that riveting? <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter. <laughs> Instagram, I'm stuck over here. Hey, Come follow on. us over there. You see content it's and go to some so Patreon fellow Twitter account. We both want to engage. Go bang! Follow us on our own personal YouTube channel. Some, some of y'all don't believe us. Yeah. There is juicy content over there. And, and based on the folks that are over there who we interact with all the time. Come on now. Just, just do it. Follow us over there. Uh, this is called La Daka. Maybe. La Daka. La Daka. The doc. It's a time lapse journey. So I think this is actually a place in India, I believe. What? Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like a tourism. I don't oh. think it's like a tourism tourism. I think it's more of like a look how pretty this is. Okay. So explore one of the most fascinating and beautiful places in India, Ladakh. Ladakh is the northernmost part of India with Tibetan Buddhist influences and a very unique landscape. Well, it's going to be pretty. This is a series of time lapses captured by a lone YouTuber, a one man, Nat Geo, who left his corporate job to explore and live a simpler life. He has other videos which explore the culture and lifestyles of the region which most Indians would not know much about. Please enjoy and hope his channel gets to a lot more people through you guys. I have nothing to do with this channel apart from a love for the mountains and genuine admiration for what he's doing. <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> Little disclaimer, that hey, was great. Sounds like he's the guy from the movie 96. Yeah. Because he's just traveling. Just traveling around, just... taking pictures, Until doing stuff. Until he fell in love, right, Rick? Until he fell in love. Yes. Well, well actually, he was already in love. With his old love. Yes, he was, al he was always in love. Yep. And then shaved his beard and looked rather handsome, and then everybody's heart breaks in the end. Looked much better with a beard. You would think so. Here we go. Why doesn't your wife have a beard? You love, you love beards so much. Why don't you let her grow a beard? She hasn't tried. Mm. Ladakh. Is this it? This looks like a screensaver. Thank you for Beethoven. Is that Beethoven? Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> looks like something out of Star Wars. It, that literally looks like the road on Tatooine where the Jawas come out and shoot R2. Bro, welcome. Oh, that's pretty. Just green in the middle of the... Yeah. 
looks like a, a screensaver. Like oh, look, look at like, that. Like you'd have on, um, on a laptop. Oh. Look at clouds. We have such an amazing planet, man. Look at the clouds. Yes, that's gorgeous. It's just straight up beautiful. The hell long? They're just chilling there. What's he have it on to make it? I, that's what I want to know. To let it go and do these ups and downs? I wonder if it's on like a remote. Yeah. Like, um, what's it called? The... A dolly? Yeah, I wonder if it's on a remote dolly. Oh, look at that sky. Also, to get that shot of the sky is incredibly, you'd have to have a really nice camera. Oh, that's pretty. cameo at the end. <laughs> Support on Patreon. Beautiful. That was gorgeous. So his channel's Indian in Motion. Yeah, that was that was absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's amazing how obviously most countries are very diverse. Yeah. In America. So again, it's a very diverse. We have in California, we you just got yeah, California alone. You're two hours away from well right now fires. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the ocean, sand dunes, the mountains with snow and yep. skiing. Yep. Uh, everything, everything, lakes, um, rivers, and, oceans. And different parts of the country are, are very different. Obviously, we got Alaska, we got Hawaii, which technically, yeah, it, our North America is, in the, but we're also huge, mind-bogglingly beautiful. Um, but India is so different, and we're gonna have. Obviously, we're gonna make many, many trips whenever we're allowed outside the United States. Yep, um, I'm believing for 2021. I really am. Um, but the South, obviously. Of India being so gorgeous um, in like um, Kerala mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. how, how gorgeous that Goa and, and the Northeast. Yeah, all, you know and when we first so were introduced to Assam. Yeah, we'd have to go back up and get the Northeast, yeah, the North, the Malayas, with Kashmir, yeah. with all this, all this, and we obviously barely scratched the surface of where we already went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's just a massive, beautiful country. Yeah, I remember talking to somebody before we made our first trip. Uh, well, I think before I ever made my first trip to Calcutta, mm. uh, a lady who was just in love with India, and I think had gone back literally. I think I think the number she said was she's she's been to India thirty times. Wow! And said, "I'm still scratching the surface. Uh, mm -hmm. I still know I haven't seen." I'd imagine that most people living in India are barely scratching the yeah. surface because you know, obviously you. Well, it's, we've lived in the United States our lives. We've not seen the entire United it's States. It's true. Well, remember everything that we did on the trip. Indrani has been in India her whole life, mm -hmm. but she has not 
had gone to when we went to Amritsar and Jaipur and, and the, she, she had, those are places she had never seen. For her, she was loving getting to see her own land country yeah. and places she'd never been to. Yeah, I think it's really common for people to not have seen the larger it's expanse. Just, a lot of people don't leave their own states here in the, in the yeah. United States, which Very I find true. insane. Very true. Uh, that you, you, know, you, you can freely roam wherever you want in the United States, yeah. and you don't. Yep. You just stay in Alabama for some reason. Well, and the or other South thing... South Dakota, nobody lives there. That's one of the other things about the different languages in India that gives people who live in India um, more of a sense of the kind of thing that happens when Americans travel. Because travel, one of the greatest things about travel is it opens up your brain to everyone else outside your aegis. Mm -hmm. When you realize there's other money, there's other languages, there's other societal norms, and you have to adhere to that, and you're the foreigner, yeah. it's very humbling and mm -hmm. reminds you, oh, I guess there are other places besides me. It's a great experience yeah. uh, that a lot of Americans need. Yeah, they feel like they don't need to go anywhere else. Then they need it. <laughs> yes, they do. That was great. Let us know more Beautiful. videos like this down below.